Hi, welcome back to our official YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. I'm also inviting you to like our official Facebook page to get updates about ChatGenie mini app tutorials. Today, I'll be explaining how to manage orders placed via your mini apps. Uh, again, we'll be using our dummy multi business uh, Covity for our uh, mini app demo. So to start, what we're going to do is basically uh, start the order process from start. As you know from our previous video, we actually configured this already. So now what we're going to do is we are going to order a product to be specific, Milti uh, from this uh, Milti shop coffee tea. I'm going to place, uh, select my general location. I'm going to order uh, this one. And then from here, let's say I want no sugar. There you go. So I actually demonstrated how to configure variants um, in the previous videos. That's why you're seeing a lot of variants there. And then here, uh, I'm going to proceed with the checkout. And then providing my details. And then proceed. Here in this demo, demo I'll um, be choosing this one, Bank Deposit. It's actually one of the common payment methods here in the Philippines. I'm going to place my order, and then there you go. So every time you place an order, you'll actually receive a notification uh, like this one. This is the default. And then whatever bank account details that you provided on your CMS will actually be included on the order notification uh, that you receive on your messenger. So let's say for example, I am ready to place my payment, my deposit. And then let's say for example, I already uploaded or sent my payment. What I'm going to do is click this Upload Bank Deposit Slip button. And then here, when I click that, it says that, yeah, I need to upload my deposit slip because the order set is suspending. I can also check, you know, if I, if I did a lot of uh, order or transaction using this account, I can see it. Let's say, for example, I'm going to choose... Um, this one and then here I just need to just click the submit uh, submit bank slip button and then there you go so of course uh, once you successfully uploaded your bank deposit slip you'll receive a notification that you indeed uh, successfully deposited or uploaded the bank deposit slip I can actually click this button to check, you know, my uh, order transactions. So here, I already uploaded my bank deposit slip, so it says payment status for confirmation. Now, as a merchant, how are we going to confirm that? Of course, we need to um, be inside our CMS. So here. On your notification icon, you'll see that there's a new notification. And then there you go. Indeed, uh, customer uploaded bank deposit slip. But prior to that, you know, of course, the user placed an order. And then afterwards, uh, the customer uploaded their bank deposit slip as a proof of payment. So how can we manage it? Actually, you can click this and then you'll be redirected here on our order manager. To be specific, we need to go 
um, under it. It's called Order Tracker Manager. Here you'll be seeing four tabs. First is pending, of course, for uh, orders that uh, that went in in your um, say shop mini app. And then here you'll see for delivery the ones that you already confirmed from your pending tab and then completed or the ones that are successfully fulfilled and then canceled. Later on, we'll discuss each of every tab. So here you'll be seeing pending orders. Uh, this is the one that we just configured earlier. So you'll be seeing, of course, the usual information, the items ordered by the customer, their details, delivery information so that you can successfully fulfill, deliver the order, and then the deposit slip. So here, you can actually click it. And then from here, you can verify the information. Let's assume that this is the deposit slip. And then from there, you'll be uh, you can you can you can see the details and then from there you can you can check your your bank account if the payment actually went through and then here what I'm going to do is uh, I need to tap it if I check this already I already validated the order or the payment I can click the confirm order button and then from here of course you know we'll be we are actually dealing with food and we need to deliver it. Uh, minutes after they place it so I'll be choosing you know same day of course it depends on your policy like for example now uh, we are in um, in a lockdown and there is actually an imposed curfew you can actually tell your customers that all orders beyond the you know that the, the, beyond the Operating hours will be processed the next day. So you can actually mention that on your collaterals or your official social media accounts. So here I'll just put uh, payment verified and then confirm order. So once I confirm it, of course, me as a customer, I can receive the notification that. The merchant actually successfully verified my payment and therefore my order is now uh, in the process of uh, being delivered to my provided delivery address. And then here from pending, we are now on, uh, on the for delivery tab. So from here, you can also see uh, order entries that are for delivery so in case that you have a separate team that manages the fulfillment of orders they should um, stick and stay in uh, in this uh, for delivery tab so for example this one this order entry it is already for delivery and let's say the courier or our delivery guy uh, went back to our store and um, tell us that yeah we delivered it already you can just mark it as completed there you go of course every change every action that you did to update the status of the order you'll receive a notification so here as you can see you have this tag uh, it depends on your if you have a separate courier provider and then they're providing you a separate uh, reference number then you have to put it here uh, we're actually working on uh, an integration we're in you know if your logistic provider has API we can dynamically uh, put it here but for the meantime, it's there. Uh, on the next set of videos, I'll actually explain how to edit this. But for the meantime, uh, we'll leave it as is. So there you go.
now the order is completed. There you go. There's no, there's no more button. So it means that uh, once it's completed, of course, you cannot cancel it anymore. This is the way how it works. Okay, now, how can we, let's say, uh, configure an order as cancel order? Let's say, for example, uh, this customer called us or sent a message on our messenger account telling us that they want to cancel their order. You as a merchant, how can you do it using our CMS? It's very straightforward. You just need to click it. You know, okay, uh, um, the customer gave us the reference ID of the order entry. I know this is it. And they want to cancel the order. I just need to click this reject order. Choose the cancellation type or they canceled it. Oh, it's a uh, convenient um, circumstance, of course, but it happens. So, just put here sudden change of heart. But of course, you don't want you know um, those kind of uh, transactions to happen in your account. Good thing that it is actually cash and delivery. You know, you don't need to uh, refund, you know, the, the, the payment that went to your bank account. So there you go. It's already canceled. In fact, I was actually redirected to the cancel tab. So there, you, there you go. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, you know, if you're going to confirm it. Uh, you confirm one by one. The usual process actually is, I know for some companies, if they receive, let's say, a pending order, enable for them to process it, line it up for delivery. They have to confirm first or verify the delivery address if it is correct. Call them, inform them uh, about you know the 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 order. And then once it's all the details actually checks out, verified, then they can confirm it. So there you go. That's how you manage orders inside your Chat Genie CMS dashboard.